Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and today we're looking at how you can learn rigging in Blender. We're going to look at free courses, paid for courses, and I'll be reviewing those. There'll be links in the description to those as well. They are affiliated links, so you'll be supporting me if you buy through those. If you like what I do, then I've got a great character course. It does have some basic rigging within it to start you off on your journey. It takes you right from nothing to a fully game ready character, painted, rigged and animated, ready for a game engine. If you don't know, rigging is where you take something like a character, let's say, and put a sort of bone structure or skeleton to it. You connect your object or your mesh to those bones. This then enables you to animate your shapes just by moving those bones. Creating effective rigs means that the animator can easily animate the model. As an animator, if you're working with an awkward rig, it can really slow down the animation process. So as you can imagine, good rigging is essential. So now you're happy you know what rigging is, you want to learn it. Well, you're in a good place because there's a shortage of riggers in the industry. However, there's probably a reason for that because it's a very difficult thing to do. So probably a question to ask is when to learn rigging. Because rigging's quite tough, I would suggest that you're an intermediate to experienced 3D user. So you've had a good amount of hours spent in the program, that will be extremely helpful. It can be quite an independent thing, so you don't have to have experience of modeling, sculpting and so forth, but it's just really helpful to understand what you are rigging in order to rig. Okay, so say you're happy with your 3D modeling abilities and you want to give rigging a go. Well, I suggest the first place to start would be on the actual Blender YouTube channel. They've got some really great introductory lessons into rigging and working with characters. I would also suggest having a go at rigging with some of the automated tools, such as Mixamo, which I've got a video about. You can just take your character, put it into Mixamo and automatically rig it. That will add animations for you and you can bring it back into Blender and then you can take a look at the rig and how it works. Look at where they've placed the bones and have a think why that is. I've got a link in the description to a video where I've done exactly that and you can follow along. Once you've done something like that, then maybe take a look at Rigify as an add-on. So in order to do that, you will need to enable the Rigify add-on. So come up to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, type in Rigify and make sure it's ticked. You can then close the preferences down, Shift A to add, and under Armature, you've now got lots of really useful rigs. Here's the Human Meta Rig, and it's worth taking some time and looking at some other tutorials about Rigify to understand this rig. Now, if you want to learn how they work with animation, then I've got a Beginner's Guide to Animation playlist. And again, I'll put that in the description. And once again, it's very basic, meant for beginners. So it's a good starting point, but that's all it is. Which brings me on to my next point about paid for courses. If you want to learn rigging properly, then you probably will need to spend some money. It's quite important that you don't learn bad habits to start with. So learning from someone who's done it a lot will certainly help you. And that's why it's important to actually spend some money on this. People will spend a lot more time on these sort of tutorials than they can in things like free courses that you'll find on YouTube. And in my opinion, it's much better to spend some money and get some really condensed, detailed information that comes from real professionals. This next section is a review of those paid for courses. Again, links are in the description for each of them. And I'll give an honest review based on my experience going through them. The first one and possibly my favorite, I think, is from Todor Nikolov and it's called Rig Anything with Rigify. Now it's important to say this isn't complete at the moment, but if you buy now, you'll be getting it for a reduced price because it's not complete, it's still in the development stages. But if you buy it now, you will get all the updates as they come in. I really like this because it's using Rigify, so using those tools in the add-on that I showed you earlier. So it kind of simplifies the process a bit because rigging can, like I say, be very complicated. I think this course simplifies rigging really well and is therefore a really great starting point. And if you want to be able to rig characters and you want to be able to do it fairly quickly, then I think this is the best option. What I like is that it's nice and easy to understand. It's nice and detailed, but not overboard. So it never overcomplicates things and you don't get lost. The depth is just about right. So you understand the process of what you're doing, not just following along. I really felt I learned a lot through this and the Rigify add-on was a lot more complicated than I thought it was, but it was made simple through this course. It's really great to see how much you can do with Rigify and the examples given were perfect to develop my understanding. So if I were a complete beginner, I would start here by learning through this course. Now my close second favorite 
is from P2 Design and is called The Art of Effective Rigging Within Blender. Now this is extremely detailed and if you want a fully comprehensive course about rigging in detail, then this is definitely the one for you. I would say this is not for beginners, although it does go from a beginner's perspective, it does go into so much detail that you could easily get lost if you hadn't had a little bit of experience already. So if you've had a bit of a play with some of the previous tutorials, the free ones that I talked about from Blender and maybe on my channel as well, tried a few rigs yourself, that's when you want to start working on this course and work through this course. And I can really thoroughly recommend it for the detail. It's absolutely exceptional. It's very well produced. It's got clear guidance and zooms in on areas of the screen that are needed to highlight areas. It does go through things fairly quickly though, so you may want to sort of follow along stage by stage and certainly don't rush watching these. And Pierrick, who creates the course, is clearly a very experienced rigger. And it's good to know you're in those sort of hands of someone who does it a lot, really understands what they're doing, to know that you're not picking up any bad habits. The downside is that because he's so experienced, he does partially assume some knowledge and therefore uses language and terms which might be a little bit complexing to a complete beginner. So be prepared and do a little bit yourself before you dive into this course. Now the next course is from Yahoo. They've got some good courses on there, but I don't think it's as good as the other ones. So this course, again, links in the description, is nice easy rigging using a skeleton from Unreal Engine. So it's a little bit in between the two courses that I've mentioned. And I still think it's worth it, but I don't feel it has the depth of the other two, and I don't actually think it's created quite as well. It's still going to be more depth than you get on YouTube, and I still think it's actually worth the money, but if I were to choose between the three, I'd certainly choose the other two over this one. You've got some character resources and you get the skeleton from Unreal, which speeds up the process, but I do find myself asking why not use the plugin Rigify rather than go to Unreal to get the skeleton. And there may well be a good reason for that, because again, we're learning from an industry professional here, but sometimes they're not answering those questions which someone like me has. I have been told there's an animation section that's coming soon, so it may be that some of those questions that I have are answered in that section, but I haven't been given any details about when that's being released. What might be interesting to a lot of people is that they use Unreal Engine and they will be taking this character into Unreal. Also, they talk a bit more about the animation process rather than just rigging, so it's a combination of the two, which could be quite useful. The creator does jump about a little bit, so it can get a tiny bit confusing, so certainly not for beginners once again. There are sections to this course that I found a little bit frustrating and I felt like needed to be speeded up or at least just cut out, so we're waiting for a download to happen at one point, and that's happening kind of in real time. Again, these things I wouldn't say should stop you from buying it. You just have to be aware it's not as professionally made as the other ones. I did find myself thinking I still had questions to ask whilst watching it. So maybe deeper explanations would have helped here. So why are you rigging it in that particular way? Uh, why are you weight painting in that particular way? There was a few questions I had about that and it was more just follow along and you'll get a good result. I feel like the other two courses had that element to them where it discussed what was going on more than just asked you to follow. Having said that, I'm still glad I looked at the course and it's interesting to see different people's approaches to rigging. But if I had to choose between all these courses, I think it depends on where you are as a character artist or rigger. If you want to become a rigger, then I would suggest P2 Design because it's so in depth and so detailed, you really get a lot from it. However, if you want to be a bit quicker with your rigging and you're just really keen to get your characters into game engines or animated, or you're keen to see those characters moving around, then I would suggest the rig anything with Rigify. So if you're an all rounder and you need a fast approach, but maybe your rigs need to be a bit adaptable, then rig anything with Rigify. If you want to be a rigger, then you will want the art of effective rigging in Blender by P2 Design. If you want to find out more about rigging, then I'd look at the one from Yihu, and you can see how different people are rigging their different characters. So hopefully that's given you enough ideas about rigging and where to learn it. It can be a tough journey, so I wish you the best of luck. Keep at it, keep persistent, and you will get there. So happy blending, and I hope this helps.